<laughs> Guys, let me be honest. You're not gonna make 10K a month with a design development or even a video production agency. In fact, I know this because I ran a design agency and it was not only hard, but extremely unsustainable. And with so much competition in the market, it just wasn't the right thing to do. I mean, just look at Twitter and Product Hunt. Nearly every single day, somebody is launching their own clone version of Design Joy. This is where AI automation came in. I kind of fell in on this by accident, but there's been so much demand and not a lot of competition that it's been this industry that's really excited me and just something that I've managed to naturally grow into. So what does an AI automation agency do? Well, let me show you. Well, first of all, we automate processes and reduce manual where the staff have to do. That saves money across the entire company. Secondly, we build systems and hubs that kind of take all of these companies' apps and put them into just one place, saving them money on the licenses that they're spending on. Finally, we help train staff to be more efficient and effective inside their job using AI. This can be as simple as using ChatGPT, for example, which, believe it or not, not a lot of office workers use at the moment. I want to tell you about the CRM Apollo quickly. Apollo is a really cool tool because it uses AI and information on the internet to enrich your contacts. That means when you add somebody to your CRM, Apollo will add information to it like previous job, who they work for, etc. Apollo is a really great tool, but it can cost companies up to $100,000 a year depending on the size of their sales team. And that's a lot of money. So using AI and no-code tools, we can rebuild this in tools like Coda and save companies up to 90% of that yearly revenue. We use a tool called Coda, which is very similar to Notion, except I would say it does a couple of things better and that's why it's used by Fortune 100 companies like Coinbase, eBay, PayPal, Figma, all of these great SaaS names that you've heard of in the past. Coda does many great things, but one of the things I love is that it allows you to build applications, meaning that I can have a small app that when I click a button, it'll send an AI drafted message to my Slack channel. It has a lot of these small wins and it's why I love building processes inside it. As I mentioned before, the kind of AI wave and generation has begun and companies are looking at ways to automate and also add AI to their processes to speed things up. We need to accelerate things beyond what they are at the moment and traditional work just won't cut it. That's the beauty and that's why I'm really excited because I know that there are hundreds of other enterprise companies alongside the ones that I'm working for that are looking for this kind of opportunity and it pays very well. So I'm 100% focused on that. However, if you're just starting out, I would recommend something completely different. Let's talk about that. If you're just starting out, you should really focus on getting a good case study first to help you grow your business. That means going and working for a small company like a furniture store and doing something interesting. For example, you could take their weekly data, upload that to GPT and ask it to do some analysis. Tie that in with an email automation that sends that data to the client once a week and all of a sudden you've built a data analysis system for this client. And as soon as you've implemented something like that for a client, you have a case study that will help you then further sell on with other people. It's not about the solution that I'm suggesting here, but more about how can you win smaller accounts to build a name for yourself so that one day you can then sell to enterprise and get these really high contracts. One of my favorite ways to do this is through content marketing. My friend Scott has a YouTube channel where he puts out a load of basic tutorials on how to use Coda. By doing that, when people get stuck on a problem using the tool, they know that he's somebody trustworthy that they can reach out to and have a call with. On that call, he might propose that he builds the solution out for them. And there is my point. He's got a client from just providing value up front. It's so easy. Oh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that you should be value focused and thinking about how can I give lots of value to the people I'm talking to. I've done about $30,000 worth of deals through just talking to people on Discord and providing value to them and helping them with their problems. So if that proves anything to you, it's 100% possible to do this on nearly any platform. So if you want a reason to subscribe, it's that this niche is exploding and I'll be taking you along the ride with every single video I put on my YouTube. In fact, if you want to adopt this model today and start using it for yourself, 
I would watch this video here that I did on Design Joy next.